welcome back in this video we're going to talk about orthographic projections so far we covered isometric drawing that we had an object which looked like 3d we draw it as it is now we said that in real life it's preferable to have the plane or the projection of the side of the shapes in order for the technicians to understand the technical details and we said that most of the places they're not going to give 3d because you cannot see everything within a 3d so they will give a two-dimensional drawings we call them planes or orthographic projections so if you have an object which is 3d 3d in the view of 3d you will see three sides we said that three side will be seen an object has six side when i say six side means that an object can have i mean from six different direction you can look at an object the three that you can see the three that you can see will be those so i can we will cover only three of them three that you will be seen it's one here the top and will one will be here yeah, you have the back you have the other side and you have the bottom as well you have the, the other three as well so if you have three three main the other three can also be understandable or you can get them easily so focusing on the three of them three of them now when we say orthographic projections means that you have an object you have an object which is 3d you will try to look at it in different directions you try to look at this object in a different direction for example you're trying to look at it in the top view to see how do you see that object or trying from the side or right or from front now front and side sometimes they are interchangeable some people they can call this one front some they call this one front it doesn't matter how do you call front and side both of them same way so if you call this one front this will be side this will be side. so focusing on three three main views so we were looking at this object in a way that imagining ourselves in front of it and we're looking at it at 90 degree or from here the side of it look at 90 degree or the top of it with 90 degree we look at the object and to to see the planes we call them the orthographic the projection of this shape i mean the way that they can imagine you will put this one in a in a uh, glass inside the glass a mirror basically and it will give you those projections or with the light if you put a light basically over it you will see those projections they will called in this manner now for you as engineer how do you practice this one whenever you have an object in your hand i'll give you some information regarding to the surfaces but if you have if you want to practice more to improve your imagination any object that you have within your hand is 3d just try to look at them in different directions to see what do you see i mean to imagine the planes the the views so just turn it around in different direction and you will realize how the shape is going to change so make sure that you make it 90 degree with your eyes so that you will see what we call it the planes or the projections now in order to understand those drawings i mean to make your imagination better i have a table that we will we can follow it at least for the beginning understand how the surfaces work so we have many surfaces we can divide in horizontal vertical vertical inclined curved and inclined by itself now some they say even we have horizontal inclined as well yeah sure there is a horizontal incline but they are called that one as incline now we have three main views top view front view side view so this is tv it's not a tv normal tv it's top view this is front view this is side view so if you have an object if you have an object any of them if you look at it you will have three main view for example this is top you can call this one front you can call this one side you always see three views for example this is top it can be front here it can be side here any of them that you look at it you'll see three views that's a, the, the main three views that we'll cover this is a top view 
this can be front this can be side this is top view this can be front this can be side any object that you look at it you will see three views always so in isometric this is top view this can be side this can be front it's up to you for example this is top this is front this is side whatever you call them but the top is always top view the other two interchangeable so the other two interchangeable i mean the the side and front is up to you whatever you call them whatever you call them but they are related related so this is top you can call this one side you can call this one front so any object that we you have the isometric you have the isometric you will see three views you will see three views of it but we have to take those three views and make them 2d make them 2d so the way it is you will you will create some those drawing what will happen after imagine that you have it and you open up those open up those of them and they will be what they will be as a 2d drawing so it's a part of this one you, you're trying to look at it from the side but then you'll bring it to make it a 2d we're not gonna cover all of the six of them we're not gonna cover the six of them so we cover for example we don't need this one here and we don't need this one which is the back and i don't need this one which is the bottom we only cover the top view the side view and the front view so you're trying to open it up in this way and that's what we will get the three drawings three drawings we will get it which is a two-dimensional a two-dimensional and even our eyes will not see them as 3d you'll see them as the two-dimensional something like this so this will be the case we'll having those three dimensions three drawings three drawings that we have them here they are related to each other if you can combine them together basically it will give you the other objects imagine if you have a box you know like if you put anything new there's a box yes that box is a 3d open it up it will be a straight line then try to put them back together it will give you the 3d so that's what we're trying to create in the orthographic projection we have the 3d object because and as engineer we will design the 3d models but when we're giving it to people when we're giving it to people we try to put them on a paper two-dimensional for them the top view the side view the front view in order for them to know the dimension to understand what's going on there it's better to give the 3d as well but the 3d sometimes it's hard for under to understand for some people's before imagination is good now let's go back to the surfaces that we have it now we said that we have different kind of surfaces horizontal vertical vertical inclined curved inclined now before thinking of the plans you have to specify the surfaces you have to fill the surfaces then you'll be able to know in which plane you're going to see which i'm going to give you the the cases now we're starting with the horizontal surface to see what what are horizontal surfaces now we have some examples here you have to feel what do we mean by horizontal surface is a flat surface for example surface of the table or the floor that you're sitting or the bed like uh, the the computer keyboard is kind of a flat surface or the mo the phone that you have at the surface it's a flat surface the surface of it so i can specify those are the, the surface they call them horizontal surface look at those reds are horizontal surface i can specify here this is a horizontal surface those are horizontal surface this is a horizontal surface oh here this is a horizontal surface uh, this picture has a lot of things inside it i, let's, I can just simply speak. those are we call them a horizontal surface so it is here but it's not showing how everything being or here this is horizontal surface look you have to feel that those are horizontal those are horizontal i mean they're flat they're flat on the surface here this part so it will be something like this if i go for it this is a horizontal surface this one a horizontal surface we have it here right you have to feel this object in a 3d i always say that in order to to do the orthographic projection first thing is understanding of feeling the object feeling the object so those red one are horizontal surfaces now let's go one by one where do we see horizontal surface 
Horizontal surfaces can only be seen in a top view. Horizontal surfaces can only be seen in a top view. You cannot see it in the front view, you cannot see it in the side view. Now, if you put the phone yeah, that you have it in front of you, like hold it horizontally, bring it to the level of your eyes, you will not be able to see the surface. The surface will disappear. Even if you turn it to the side of it, still you will not see the surface. Because horizontal surfaces can only be seen from top view. That's something and information that if you know this information and you know those are horizontal, those are horizontal, when I'm drawing the top view, those supposed to appear there. Those red supposed to appear in the top view. In the top view, you have to see those red parts. So that's what we, we say that if you understand which one is horizontal, you'll be able to know where do you see those where do you see those surfaces this is one so you cannot see horizontal surface and the other views then we're gonna go for vertical surface now when we when we say vertical surface imagine there's a wall the side when you most probably are at home you have four walls around you those walls we call them a vertical surface even the, the laptop, does the, surf, the surface of your laptop, the, the screen, is a vertical screen. Well, let's see which, which of those are vertical surface for us. Now, this is a vertical surface, kind of a wall. Look at them, those are all vertical surface. So, let's divide vertical surface into two parts why we divide vertical surface into two parts now in the, in the room that you have that you surrounded by four walls let's say that two of them is from the side one of them is in front of you look i'm saying what two of them from the side one of them in front of you one will be in the back one of the old back so the vertical walls basically some of them will be because we have two views will be divided into two parts since we have one view like this and one view here, so some of them will be seen in this view, some of them will be seen in this view. That's why I will cover them into, I will do them in two color. So for example, this, this, those are parallel to each other. And I will use a different color, a different color for this one. They're still vertical, those are still vertical. Still vertical, still vertical, but different color. Now, this is a vertical line. Let's put the coloring that's similar. Those are similar to each other. Vertical, let's say this is, we have vertical here. There will be vertical here. There will be vertical here. In here, this is vertical. Those are vertical. This is vertical. We have it here. For this side, this is the vertical that we will we need it there. Look, I'm not going for this one. This is a something else. Something else. This is a vertical, vertical surface. Those are vertical surface. Here we have a line. We have a line somewhere right here. I will talk about this one. There will be a line here. Then, so the other part will not be. This part here will not be vertical. Will not be vertical here. We'll come back to this one. There's something else. Now let's go for the other vertical as well to cover them. This is a vertical. Sorry. This is vertical, a vertical there, a vertical here. Then in this case, this is a vertical. We have it here, this part here, this part here. We have vertical, this part there as well. It's vertical. Well, in here, this is a vertical, we have it. This is vertical, we have it. Those are not vertical. Something else, this is a vertical, we have it here. Now, those are, we call them vertical surfaces, which kind of like a wall. Now, why did I divide it into two colors, the green and the orange one? Why? Because we have two views that we can see vertical inside them. We have two views that we can see vertical. The vertical can be seen in the front view, can be seen in the side view. But they can never be never be seen in the top view. You cannot see vertical walls in the top view, 
if it's a vertical means a 90 degree now if you try to put your head over the phone I mean could completely over your phone the side of the phone will kindly disappear if you have a straight side of the phone will disappear or the book I mean if you put a book and you put your head over the book you will not be able to see the side of the book how thick is the book you cannot see the thickness of the book why because you're looking at the top when you're looking at the top you will not be able to see the vertical views so now we know that those views that the green and the orange one cannot be seen from the top it cannot be seen from the top now if I know that those cannot be seen from the top here I got the top view yes only I will draw the red ones the red ones and that will be the top view and since I know the red ones will not be seen from the side and front when I'm drawing the side and front I will neglect those red ones neglect the red ones those are the way that we think of it don't worry still need more information in order to gather those how do we draw them you still maybe thinking how do you draw them now we'll come for vertical vertical incline sometimes we have a wall we have a wall but it's inclined it's not going a straight way we called inclined vertical or vertical inclined vertical surface inclined those are which one they are here i mean let's see that which one we can call this vertical so you're gonna cover them this one here it's kind of vertical inclined a vertical inclined by the way this is also a normal a normal vertical now this white a kind of a blue light blue the light blue here we have it it's inclined vertical it is vertical it's vertical but it's kind of inclined here this is the same thing look at this it is inclined i mean it's vertical but it's kind of inclined inclined we call this one inclined vertical inclined vertical in the other pictures we don't have it we don't have it we have two cases here this one here and this one here those are we call inclined vertical well because it's vertical because it's vertical it cannot be seen from the top view it cannot be seen from the top view so again vertical incline can be seen from front view and side view so you still you still see them even if it is inclined you cannot see it in the top view well what's the difference between vertical and inclined vertical what's the difference between this one and this one now vertical surfaces some of them will be seen in the front view so if if a vertical surface seen from the front view cannot be seen from the side view cannot be seen from the front side view if the vertical surface seen from the side view it cannot be seen from the front view that's what the difference so when you call a vertical surface a vertical surface can be seen let's see if i can manage this one I believe it's better to see it vertical one, vertical two. So in that way, we said some vertical will be seen in the side, some of them will be front. But the the inclined vertical will be seen at the same time in both view. That's the difference between normal vertical and inclined vertical. So the vertical surface that we have them, the vertical surface that we have them. If you see the vertical in the surface in the side view, you will not see it in the in the front view but if you see the vertical in front you will not see it in the side as the color we explain them which color for example the green one the green one i can see the green one in this view here in this view which i call front but i will not see them in this view which is the side so the green one can only seen in one view here in one view will appear the orange one will appear only in this view so you're not going to appear in the other view but this guy here it will appear in both view in both view you'll see it this one will be seen in the both view because it's kind of inclined between them inclined between them you will see it in both of the views you'll see it in the both of the views so that's why 
we can put in this manner so we have two type of vertical because the way that we see them in the different sides but the inclined vertical can be seen in both of them can be seen in both of them well what else we have we look for the curve surface now a curve surface now curve surface basically came from where came from a circle came from a circle a curve surface came from a circle if you have a circle normally if you see a radius for example something like talking about radius you have to feel which one is going to be the, the surface a round surface look this is a circle yes but it's not a round surface it's a flat surface so if i use a different color let's say this is color this is a round surface look this is you know that's a round surface here you know this is a round surface well inside here there's also a round surface we have it here because it's something a circle there a round surface well here basically this is the round surface this is a round surface i mean inside it not the surface surface inside it so i'm not going to do this one but inside it well this is a round surface it's a kind of round surface because we know that this is a, a kind of cylinder we have a day cylinder we have a day now round surface round surfaces they have complicated cases i mean some of them can be seen in the top some of them can be seen in the front but again the surfaces the inclined surfaces oh, sorry the uh, curved surfaces can be seen in a manner can be seen in a manner they will be seen in two view by the way there is here there's this guy here it's a surface and inside here is a, it's a surface inside here will be surface but because it's inside we don't care too much about the one that it's inside it because we cannot see them directly we'll come back to them for example this one here it's directly inside we don't care that much about all oh, this one here inside or oh, this one here inside we don't care too much about the inside one about the inside one because we normally we normally care about the one that we can see them outside not the one inside not the one inside now how do we see those how do we see those or where do we see those inclined surfaces now inclined oh, sorry the curved surfaces now the curved surfaces can be seen in any of the views it can be seen in any of the views but how does it work how does it work it can be seen in two but it will not be seen in the third one so always will appear in two views in two views as a surface as a surface will be seen in two view let's see if i can manage it in this way so it always will be seen I'll cover it now to see what do I mean by that things at least to to know now curved I can divide it to three of them three of them we're gonna tell you how how does it work now for the curve if you see the curved surface at the top at the top and if you see it from the front you will not see the curves the curve surface in the side view if you see the curve from the front and the side you will not see it in the top view if you see it from top and front you will not see it from the the front view so those are we call them the kind of surface that we have i mean the, the curve surface it has three possibilities three possibilities but always you will see them in two in two views now let's see this this one here particularly now i can see the surface from the front i can see it from the side as well from the side as well i can see it but when i'm looking at the top i'm looking at the top i cannot see this one it's kind of like has a ver vertical yes i mean kind of vertical has it i mean it kind of a wall but the wall is round so that's why i can see it from two I can see it from here I can see it from here but I cannot see that one from the top from the top I cannot see this one 
well what about the other one we have something look different in the same picture this one here i can see it from the front if i look at it like this it's a different color now i can see this one if i look at it like this because it's kind of curved in this manner in this manner i will see it from the top see from the top but from this side i cannot see the curve surface i cannot see the curved surface here i can see the surface i can see the surface i cannot see the surface here now how can i make this one easier for you there is a way that we can make this one easier look any curved surface came from a circle came from a circle now look this is the circle isn't it this is the circle here come from this circle for this one this is the circle that's making the surface now if you can spot the surface sorry the circle to see where is the circle can be seen where this circle can be seen if you can spot where this circle can be seen now this the, this one can be seen from the top that's why the surface cannot be seen from the top this one can be seen from this side that's why the surface will be for the other two side for the other two side i need you to differentiate between surface and the, the circle i mean the line of the circle is different i mean we, when you're talking about surface it's an area it's an area for example this this here i can see it from this side i can see it from this side but i cannot see it from the top i cannot see it from the top the surface this purple one i cannot see it from the top it's kind of a cylinder a cylinder so i cannot see it from the top i'm going to show it to you with the 3d models these things all of them i will make 3d model of them then i will tell you that what do i mean by not seeing it, by not seeing them now this is a bit the circle a bit tricky careful about the surface now the last time we have it inclined inclined also can be several several parts inclined can also will be several part i mean the inclined i can also divide it into some cases to see that okay we have some cases for inclined as well now for the inclined which one will be inclined here which one will be inclined now the only one that we can see it is inclined not vertically inclined this will be inclined this one here will be inclined look at this one this is an inclined surface inclined surface now inclined surface here this surface can be seen in two directions as, as well in two views like this like this you can see it but if you're trying to look in this way you cannot see the surface you cannot see the surface you can only see the inclination similar to the similar to the circle so the inclined surface inclined surface even a vertical inclined is similar can be seen from two sides it cannot be seen from one of them so when we have inclined inclined it doesn't matter how the shape is look like it can be seen from two sides but it cannot be seen from one side so we have different shapes we're going to show it to you in different examples that how does those things work whenever we're trying to draw them i always go through the surfaces we'll say this is surface this is this this is this then it will help you to imagine the shape easier so if you try to look at here you will not see this surface you'll not see the surface but you will see it from two sides so we can separate this one in this manner if you see from the top from the front you will not see it from the other one if you see from the top you see it from the side you will not see it from the front if you see it from the two of them you will not see it from the top view you will not see it from the top view now this is this kind of incline it's kind of a vertical incline like that's a well, some people they not put here so this incline is a vertical incline so i can delete this one because it's, we already know that if something is seen from the two sides from not from the top we call that one a vertical incline vertical incline so those two cases will be enough here those two cases will be enough for the inclined surfaces now this table it's a bit confusing i know but 
imagination basically start with knowledge so if you have some knowledge you can imagine the shapes easier you can imagine the shapes easier now what do we have to know about these things more how they look like now we talk about them they can be seen in different views but how they looks like how they look like in the views now most of the things that we'll see them in the projections in a projection will be vertical or curve i mean kind of a circle you don't see too many things there normally you see them in this way we have line sure we have line as well we have line but the surface that we can see them as a surface now horizontal surface horizontal surfaces a kind of line we have the only one that i will explain is the curve one curve one is kind of tricky but the rest of them easy like i mean you just kind of be line so you have a straight line you will draw these things or we call them like uh like a rectangle will not be always rectangle but kind of a straight lines we have them or we may have different shapes different shapes but the one that is important for us is the curve one now we said that if a curved surface can be seen from a surface you will not see the curve by itself you only see a rectangle you'll see a rectangle but the circle can be seen in one of the views look at here look at this guy here we said that in two views i can see the surface in the other view i cannot see the surface so what do i see on the other surface i see the circle by itself so if for this case i can see the, the surface here i can see the surface here so on the third one i will see the circle i will see the circle on the third surface or we said that it will be seen from here the surface for the curve so the curve surface will be seen how as a re rectangle surface then the circle can be seen on the other one this is the three possibility that we have it for the curved surface the only one that you need to know the curved surface you don't see them as the curved surface in the 2d shapes in the 2d shapes you don't see them as the curve you'll see them as a rectangle as a rectangle but in one of the views we will see the circle in one of the views we will see the circle the rest of the other views other surfaces they're normal you can see them as uh, the way they appear the way that they appear they will be a rectangle i mean straight lines we will draw them only the curve it's tricky it's curved surface but when you look at it in the views you will not see the curvature you only see the rectangle so the circle can be seen in one side for the inclined for the inclined let's say that you see the surface here you see the surface here well you see the inclined the inclination in the other surface you'll see the inclination in the other surface so there will be an inclined line you will see inclined line there if you see the surface here the surface here the inclination of that plane will be seen in the other view same thing for the vertical incline we say vertical incline the, the the inclination can be seen from the top you know that there's something inclined but the surface can be seen from the other two in here sorry this is for the inclined so the surface can be seen here and the surface can be seen here i always say that for the others i can put them a vertical surface can be seen by the way i, I draw them as a rectangle but sometimes they may not come as a rectangle but that's why we just explanation for example this one we say the vertical two can be seen here it will not see the other one this vertical will be seen here it will not be seen the other one this horizontal will be seen here but it will not be seen in the other two so those are the kind of things that we see them mainly rectangle things inclined line or curve curves but the surface by themselves the surface by themselves they will be rectangle most of the time they will be rectangle most of the time let's just look at this one here there is a inclined surface i have it here yes there is this inclined surface there is this inclined surface now if you check the top you will see it as what as a rectangle as a rectangle here 
as a rectangle from this side here on the other view how do you see it look only the line only the line can be seen that's why I say that in two of them you will see it as a surface can be seen from two of them the inclination for the other side we have a curved surface yes we have a curved surface which is basically right here this is the curved surface I have it here this is the curved surface here this is the surface look on the top I see the circle I see the circle that's the circle on the other two sides I have to see the surface how do you see the surface as a rectangle as a rectangle now here this is hidden this is hidden that's why you cannot see them but it will be something like it will be something like this a hidden surface we call it like this I mean this is a part of it kind of if you project it like this we project it like this it's kind of if this was not here we will see this part as a a rectangle as a rectangle we will see this part as a rectangle because it's inside that's why you don't see it from here we call it hidden line we call it hidden so this can be seen there in two but the circle will be seen from the top well look at the other this is a horizontal this is a horizontal surface a only seen from here I cannot see from here I cannot see from here this is a horizontal surface again can be seen from the top this is a horizontal surface can only seen from the top it cannot be seen from here it cannot be seen from here well the vertical the vertical we have a vertical here this is a vertical like this vertical can be seen in one of the view which is for this view here but it cannot be seen on the other view however we have different vertical view different vertical view which this one here is a vertical this one is a vertical look those can be seen from here those can be seen from here and there is a vertical as well here this is a vertical wall as well that also can be seen from here they cannot be seen from the other side so this way you can imagine the shape which one can be seen where then we're going to show it to you how we're drawing this together in the next video in order to be able first you draw it on the paper then you go to autocad and draw the shape nicely in autocad the planes with some knowledge in autocad as well